Hi, it's Rick here, and doctors, I want to share a little something that happened in my practice this week. Uh, one of my main CAs who's been with me for 14 years and is simply terrific, just came in in a cranky mood. And as you and I both know, the energy that everyone brings to the office is the energy that the practice is going to have. Volume tends to go down in those days. But as opposed to just rolling my eyes and saying, oh, here we go, it's one of those days, I took the moment to just bring her into a room one-on-one -on -one and say, hey, what's going on? What can I do to make your day better? And the truth is she just needed to feel heard that day. She had some opinions on some of the systems that were not working well in the office and she was getting frustrated. And it really brings a good point up. A lot of the CAs in your practice are resources that you have not been using properly. They see things that you don't see. They hear things from patients that you don't hear. And one of the recommendations that we make is other than your morning huddles and your uh, monthly qu or quarterly trainings and of course your staff meetings weekly, you meet with each individual CA on a monthly basis and just ask them one simple question. What can I do to make your job easier and better? And you'll be amazed, first of all, that you, they, they don't even think you care. And I'm sure you do, but they don't know that. They need to know that. And number two, some of their ideas are fantastic. Some of their ways to simplify and make more efficiency for the patient flow. And sometimes there are specific patients that may not be having a great experience that you could fix before it becomes a problem. Make sure that each CA gets their feelings heard, gets their self into, this, into the emotional ownership of the practice. It's going to pay huge dividends. We are in May going to Little Rock, Arkansas, as you know, as part of Cairo Destiny. We're going to be going to Dr. Hurley's office, which is a magnificent edifice of chiropractic, but we're going to be doing some of these role play, hands-on types of meetings and types of scriptings and types of office flows actually on the floor of a real chiropractic office as opposed to sitting in a regular hotel doing a typical seminar. So if you've ever wanted to really see how a magnificent office works as opposed to just hearing about it, this is your opportunity. Go to chirodestiny.com and check it out. Look forward to seeing you there.